start of a new day. <laughs> it feels more than a new day. It feels like a new chapter. I got this cabinet done. And, uh, sounds like you just screw right there. <laughs> um, and I'm, uh, packed up and ready to go. And I'm all. Any reservations? No. Clean stuff in place. Mm -hmm. Thanks. fella. It was a nice looking morning out here today. Uh, pretty cool place to wake up to. Great place to wake up to. Didn't sleep here, but I slept back back up that way. This place is pretty good, man. Feels really good. I'm excited. It's just new. There's like oysters growing right here too. I gotta look into that. Those little white things down there, those are oysters. oyster thing. There's an oyster right there. That 
is cool. Definitely gotta look into that. <laughs> This is J5 Custom Vans shop. That's his van right over there. So it belongs to John. And I've uh, just got my van backed up because I'm going to get that uh, air system installed. And he was kind enough to lend me um, a little bit of his shop floor to jack the back of the van up. And I uh, got a couple jack stands and his floor jack. And this is what I'm going to be putting in here, you guys. So this is my airlift system. This is amazing. John put me over on this side and he's got this lift that I'm using to lift it all up. So it's gonna give me a fair bit of access back here to get under there. I put a 6,000 pound truck on here and it did it no problem. Nice, John. That's cool. It's not often I get to get under yeah. that thing. It's, oh guys, oh, I can get right under here and take a look at stuff. There's my muffler. These are the old bump stops. Now I can really easily get to these. It'll be a little bit of a interesting job here doing this. Um, there's my heater right there. There's a little exhaust for that. That's all looking really good. Huh. Far out, man. Sweet. There's my extra leaf right there, right on the bottom. There's one over there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, no time like the present to get this little jobby done. Grab one of these. All right, I'm a bit nervous because I don't know how this is gonna work out. How much lift did you end up with? I'm just looking that up. I think it's two inches or so. Yeah, so if this was longer, I could put a pad of rubber between here and here. I don't know if that's going to put too much torsional stuff on a bolt like that. I'm going to it. Or yeah, good luck finding that bolt. Yeah, no. Um, like they're longer shocks. And, uh, yeah. But, uh, so what, uh, if you know, like I can make a, a spacer. I need to make something that goes around that yeah. thing down there. This has just got that nice wrap around for that. Let's go look and see what I got for square two. John's gonna help me out here. So John J5 Custom Vans on Vancouver Island. So the way these things work is like, you've got this that's on the bottom and this piece here fits right here on the axle like that. And essentially this is bolted to that. And then this part is right up there in place of the bump stop. And because of the, the extra clearance or the extra lift that I had in the back, in order to preserve that and have some more lift back here, um, I'm gonna have to change this because if I put this in there, it's probably going to suck all this down even more and I definitely don't wanna do that. Um, so I'm gonna go and get the lift information I have and some old video footage and we're gonna modify this piece so that it's spaced up a little bit higher right in here. And then that's the plan.
So definitely means I'm gonna be voiding the warranty on this little package of stuff here, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna find out what that is and then we'll, uh, John will help me make that. So I noticed when I got these put in, I'm just spinning this and nothing's happening. But these guys cut a hole in my frame up there, so try and get the camera in there, we'll see what it looks like. That's why. Look at that. Let's see if we can wedge something in there and grab that. Okay, I got it out. It had that uh, loose nut on the inside, and I guess they just threw this in there. But uh, yeah, I imagine like the one that's in there looks like a riv nut kind of. And this one, it's either just welded in and it broke free and then they had to cut that hole right there to get a wrench in there. I'm not sure, but. Get ready to drill the first hole. John wants to know if you need a higher power drill. Oh, did it really? Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe I don't know. I'm just using my impact right now, which isn't even a drill, technically. Yep. All right. You guys going somewhere? Huh? You guys going somewhere? No. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure you got it in mm -hmm. Too. Well, it didn't say that in the instructions, but I just screwed this one up too. Why? Well, because I just put it center on that and I just read the instructions and I'm supposed to put it on the inside of this flange in here and I just put it right in the middle like that. So that it holds so that it lines up like that. It's only out by a quarter of an inch, so I think it should be fine. They don't care that much. No, I got extra. Yeah, it should be fine. Nice that, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah, keeps, like keeps the sun off my delicate shoulders. Oh uh, yeah. Same with that weirdo army shirt, eh? This is uh, this come along. So those are there, that's my fuel line for the diesel heater. And so I just followed it along with this one all the way up there. And that's the intake of the diesel heater. So that's a cool source. That's the hot source right there. Um, so it's gonna go up over there to the, to that airlift thing. And then this side, it's coming down here. Um, it's actually tucked in up here and I had it zap strapped onto there and I kind of want to have a little clip up here but it's really close to the stone go compartment so I'm just gonna try to tuck it in and just zap strap it over there it should be fine totally but uh, I don't know there's part of me I'd love to put a thing here but I'm not going to at least not now and then it's gonna plug in right over there so I'll get my bumper back on and uh, should be good. Job's done. I had a look at their uh, their HVAC system at John's house because um, they, they weren't getting any AC, but their system totally offline and I think it's just the thermostat because they got power and everything looks good on the install, but I was just a little, I, I 
don't know a lot about that stuff, but I, I do look after that kind of thing for the yoga studio, so I had a look at his after everything he did. Um, but uh, I'm John, thank you so much for lending me your shop space and your time and your tools. Hospitality. Um, and thank you, Louise. That was, that was great. Appreciate it. And I'd love to come back and say hi to you guys. And for anybody who's watching right now, you want to do some custom van work, J5 Custom Vans on Vancouver Island. John is really equipped to do just about anything to a van or a rig or something that you want to build, whether it's going to be something you're going to live in full time or just a weekend thing or, um, you know, an overland, anything like four by four back road, you name it, you can do it. So look them up, J5 Custom Vans. And I'm going to go find the end of Time Fitness so I can get it cleaned up. <laughs> Better look it up, so that's it. See you soon. Sweet. It's gone. It's better. Feels good to have a shower. Anyway, I'm... It's 8.15 p.m. It was a long day working on all that stuff. And, um... Sorry, guys. I'm talking while I'm driving. It's kind of windy. Uh, I'm just going to go pull up here and uh, cast off for the night now. Uh, make a snack. Uh, I'll probably just have like a salad and a bowl of flow berries with uh, some sour cream and stuff. So uh, yeah, that's okay. That, that's, that's fine. Oh. Hey John, I just have this panel off. Um, your filter's here, it looks good. The insulation looks really good. Um, and uh, you've got power coming in, so it's, it's, you got 240 AC. And uh, all these connections here, this is what's going to your thermostat. These are all tight and good. And um, right down here, you've got a little board right there. And there's two LEDs right there. Those are your diagnostic ones, so as the system turns on and you're calling for heat or cooling or you're just asking the fan to run, that little yellow LED should be on and it's not on. So it's saying that it's really, it's just not getting a signal from upstairs. So your issue is probably the thermostat. Um, and yeah, all this looks good. So that that's your electric um, inline duct heaters right there. So there's just, there's just like toaster elements going through the duct and the fans just blowing air through it. That's that might be your air proving switch right down there because uh, I don't see one in the duct anywhere unless it's on the other side. But anyway, this all looks good. That's just my thing going on. Yeah, and even in there, your your evaporator coil, that looks, that looks good too. Yeah. You also have these uh, installation manual stuff in there. It does tell you a little bit about the LEDs here and these, um, this is a DPI? No, those are jumpers and those jumper settings. So there is a way for me to probably get the system to call automatically, but I'm not going to mess with those. The installer would have just said those, um, put right there, but I don't know how to bypass it. So I'm just going to leave that alone. But, um, uh, that those are just, you're setting your fan speeds and stuff like that down here with that. Anyway, I'll just leave that for now, but all this looks good. I was just struggling to get this panel back on because, um, it's got a lip underneath and it sits under this thing. So the whole weight of it is actually pressing down. It was just hard to get it to go back in its place. But, uh, anyway, it's good. These are your breakers right here on the unit and they're both in the down position, which is on. So... Um, you got a 60 amp and a 25 amp, so that's your main power coming in, and then it's distributing it off to the, uh, this goes to the fan, so, anyway. 